A couple of weeks ago, I was at a festival in Jodrell Bank, and one of the pieces of art they had around was a LiDAR scan of the huge radio telescope. And it's quite an amazing thing to think it wasn't a, it's not an optical image, it's just distance data, but its rendering was really quite pretty. And so that got me thinking about my LiDAR scanner and the different projects and things I was, things I was trying to do with that. And so I spent the past few days visualizing the data coming back from the scanner. The LiDAR scanner is the same as before. The key difference is I've removed the kind of height adjustment servo. And so it's just kind of rotation at this stage. The electronics are pretty much the same, although I did have attached an IMU sensor on the end, although that's going to be for a future enhancement with any luck. But um, yeah, in its current state, it's running in a pretty kind of basic way. It's got uh, 350 steps in a circle, annoyingly close to 360, but sadly not there. And so on each rotation, it carries out 350 kind of uh, readings and then feeds them back. The visualization I've got here is a very basic one, but it's enough to get a feeling for what's going on, seeing how it's functioning. And so the way it's set up is the, the red dot represents the LiDAR scanner itself. And these are the 350 kind of distance readings. And so the data coming back from the sensor is basically an angle and a reading. So you can work out basically an XY coordinate from the distance and the angle. And that allows me to plot it in this kind of grid here. So you can see the walls of the workshop here. This little cluster in the middle is me. And if I kind of move my hand around, it kind of obscures some of the other data over here. But it's averaging over, I think about five sets of data at the moment. So movements are a little bit sluggish to update but you can kind of see the walls around the sides. There's some shelving over there. That's the airbag from the dust collector poking out. There's some other bits and pieces away from the wall and over to the side. And obviously there's no data here because I am obscuring that. It's kind of behind me. As I mentioned, I've attached an IMU to the board. And so the next step for this project is to see what I can do with that sensor data. The first thing I want to do is compensate against rotation. So I know I can kind of calibrate the, the, the orientation of this to the sensor. So if the sensor rotates, this doesn't, this will stay the same. The next step after that is to see if I can use the gyroscope to kind of track slight adjustment and position changes. So the, the sensor could move around a little bit perhaps, but still not distort the existing readings it has to kind of build up a fuller picture. I'm not sure how uh, successful any of these additional bits of work are going to be, but they are, they should be quite interesting if I can get them to work. And so if I make any progress on that, I will put out another update on this video. But in the meantime, I've got a basic kind of 360 degree LiDAR scan, generating a very, very basic kind of room outline. It is uh, a million miles away from the uh, LiDAR plot of the radio telescope that kind of urged me to look at this again, but it's certainly better than it was last week.